Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 43 of this Let's Play Viking Conquest. No. Crusader Kings 2. This is, of course, the March of the Vikings. That's it. In the last episode, we sorted out many more of our Counts and Yol titles over here. So we are slightly over our Vassal Count, but we are actually below our domain. And had we sorted that out properly, we wouldn't have that problem. We are currently... Trying to make some money and doing some raiding and other stuff like that. Partially because we want the money and the prestige. The money so that we can spend on usurping or creating some more titles. So that we can spread out the number of yarls we have a bit more. And partially because we are really close to the moral authority required for the Reformation. We only need 3% more. Which I believe equates to... Three more temples, of which Wessex has one. So we're going to go and attack Wessex over here. We are raiding it. We'll take that down. We'll take out Dorset. And then probably Devon and Cornwall. And that should be it. So we've sent our fleet home just to drop off the money and the prestige. Which they have successfully done. And they should be just heading straight back out again. Yes, they are. Excellent. And that will allow us to spend some of those resources over here. So I think I'm going to get a war camp. That's only 300 prestige. I'm going to try and keep above 100 just in case we need to get some uh, tribal armies out in a hurry. And then the other thing was spending money. So are there any other titles I can use up? No. So we're just going to have to create some titles, which is fine. We don't want to create Visby. We might want to create Svitjard Holsingland. Where's that? Yeah, we definitely want Holsingland. Cost me 100 gold. And who is the best of your rulers? You are not even a more Viking. Neither are you. None of you are Vikings. Interesting. You, however, have rather good stats. Yeah, you look like the best candidate. So we will grant you a landed title, the Earl of Holsingland. Including the lower titles. Okay, good. That's you done. And that has, in fact, resolved my... Vassal problem, so I'm not going to bother creating anymore. No real point. So instead we can invest money. Except that everyone has already got all the money stuff. Okay, cool. Onwards with the raiding. Let's finish this. The Lords of Svitjord have approved the institution of ruler, war declaration, sovereignty law. I didn't even remember doing that. I must have, but yay! We've only... <laughs> We're so close to being able to abolish the uh, council. Which would be quite nice. Disables use of realm peace. Disables advisor minor title. Is there any reason not to do this? Like, does it block me getting gavelkin or anything? Okay, so Mercia have raised, sorry, Wessex has raised an army, but it's not going to be enough. So we should be able to take this rather easily for ourselves, then we can go and squish their army. And we need to move over here so we can actually get the loot that I'm trying to get. There we go, it's now filling up. Apparently you don't actually loot anything if you don't have anything they're capable of collecting, which is good to know. I still don't have an ambition. Is there anything relevant to me? No. Upland has built a war camp. You are definitely the one that I want to upgrade in terms of market village. So that we get a little bit more just passive money, basically, to pay for all the armies that I'm raising. Judman tells me that his efforts of praising my name and deeds have met with great success. Oh, we have an army of warriors. I don't really want an army of warriors. That is a pretty, pretty big army of warriors, though. Oh well. Dangerous faction, 71% for increased council power. I need to keep an eye on this to make sure it doesn't go down further. Ooh. Righteous imprisonment. Who? Who can I imprison? Hjalmar of Yonberland. You are the chief of Yonberland. I'll think about it. I'm not going to do it now because my army's abroad. And I'm no longer stressed, which means I should live a bit longer, which is lovely. I'm once again over my vassal limit. Why does this keep going down? T 
dunno. But one thing I can do is increase the technology, which I think is legalism? Nope. Majesty? Nope. Noble customs? Nope. Right, where's the number of vassals I can have? don't think it's going to be any of those. It's very unlikely to be these. Ooh, we've almost got the next level of shipbuilding, which would be nice. Um, wow, we have a lot of technology stored up. Crikey. That's pretty awesome. Um, are we lagging behind technologically? Like, should I be more aggressive in building Gotland up? Where is technology? Right, it's dependent on these, isn't it? Um, no, I wouldn't say we're that far behind. Like at all. A little bit, maybe. Head penalty, 30, 30, 0, 0, 0. Zero, zero, these will all be zero. Might as well get them all to level two, seeing as I can afford it. That'll do. I still have a bunch of military power that I could spend. More heavy infantry attack, more light infantry attack. Cost 30% extra. Nah, we'll leave it. So we're now, like, caught up. We're probably one of the most developed provinces in the world, tech-wise. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> well, yeah, actually we are. I mean, compare, to, compare us to this. We're actually extremely well developed, and this will spread throughout our own territories, and actually everyone's. Um, I think I do kind of want better infantry. I want better siege gear. I definitely want that. So we can siege stuff down faster. I could even afford level 4. I think that'll be a bit much. I'm going to do this and this. That'll do. Cool. Meanwhile, we're sieging down the temple. This should actually go quicker now that we have the extra siege ability. Which is lovely! War camp in Sunderman land. You can indeed afford another prestige thing, except if you want money, which you do. How are we doing carrying cash? So we do need to keep an eye on how much money we are actually losing over time. There's that one down. While looting the holding, one of your men came across a strange looking key made of an unknown metal. You've only seen such metal once before. That mysterious chest that was inherited and passed along in your family. It is still gathering dust somewhere in your chambers. Could be this be the key that opens it? Let's find out. The key fits the lock, and trembling with anticipation, you slowly open the chest. Disappointingly, it only contains a few parched scrolls that crumble into dust at your touch. Whatever wisdom they held has been forever lost to the world. I would say that was probably because of my learning, but my learning's not that bad. 48%. Two to go. Horrors in hell. I mean, uh, totally what I meant. Right, do I want to? No, I don't. I was going to say, do I want to start another the old and not at present? I mean, I could still do Bergslagen or Smolland or Oslandet. Bergslagen's probably the one I would do. Southampton has been done, so that means we are completely finished with your rig. So we're here. Kill the Wessex army. Get more combat experience and some prisoners. And market town in Upland. So once again, while we're just raiding the castle, which takes the longest, we'll head home, we'll send the loot home, and then we'll come back again. And collect the loot from the castle and the other holdings there. Plus we can then spend that money on building up, for example, Upland. Which we can do now. Bigger market town. Sealand is just waiting for prestige. And there goes the castle. Or Wareham. 
Sherborne, Dorchester. And there we go, market town in Sundermanland. Let's build another one. Except I cannot have oh, technology. Interesting. Wasn't quite expecting that. Let's get a training ground here. We still have 300 we can spend. War camp. There we go. And this will all be increasing the amount of soldiers I can raise. Which is important, because you want to be able to raise loads of soldiers in case you have to deal with rebellions. 48. 49. One more. One more. We're just going to deal with the city because it doesn't take very long. I'm going to head over to Devon and loot that as well. There we go, there goes Dorchester. So go to Devon. And loot this too. So close. So close. Your vassal, Swine of Vestermanland, is concerned about his non inheriting sons. He asks you to consider them when looking for new vassals. Do I care about you? Not really. No, you suck. No. <laughs> Yarl Klaus. He's not actually a bad ruler. He's my son. He's not my son. Can't wait to become feudal Modrana. She's a Viking. Stop that. Stop that, you frisky old man. I can invest in any technological advance I want. I'm not going to, though. I don't think we really need to. Unless there's one which allows you to. Convert people more quickly. High centralization, late feudal administration. Hmm. Yeah, my awesome council. They are working. They are working. Excellent. Market city has been built in Upland. However, we're going to have to wait for some more money. From Devon. Castle should fall pretty soon. And then it's the temple. Which is the last temple. And then reformation. This king's done it all. This one guy. Just don't die on me now. Please. No dying. You are not allowed to die. War camp in Cielant. Good. No dying. Don't die. Who are you? Voldemar. Uh, you could technically be a spy master. You are on the council. Oh, did you just usurp whoever was there previously? Yeah, you must have. Bah. No more favours for you. And there we go, Exeter. Religion can be reformed. Come on! Reforming the Germanic faith will turn it into an organised religion with an or religious head. Unless you control all of the holy sites, doing so requires 50% moral authority and control of three Germanic holy sites. It will cost you 750 piety. I have over a thousand. Rulers of a reformed pagan religion can use the holy war Cassus Belli, get access to most succession laws, no longer suffer prestige loss while at peace, and will have less trouble with independent-minded vassals. However, they will also lose the defensive supply limit penalty for religious enemies in their territory, and vassals will get upset if you have their levies raised for too long for no good reason. The Germanic Reformation. The ancient Germanic religion is proving unable to withstand the onslaught of the cross and the moon. Rather than abandoning the old ways, Filker Ingemar and the most powerful priests have decided to reform the Germanic faith. With codified rites, a holy scripture, and strict church hierarchy under a single leader, they hope that the reformed Germanic faith is better armed to fight back against the weak and effeminate foreign beliefs. For Thor! Am I actually the freaker then? Oh, I am. So I'm the head of the religion too. <laughs> Fantastic. And I get a bonus for my piety and diplomacy skill. 
and the fact that we are reformed. I don't actually know what having a high moral authority does. But we've done it. We have reformed. Huzzah. Reformed pagan. Filka can call Great Holy War. That's me. I'm the Filka. Priests can inherit titles. Priests can marry. Women can own temple titles. Fairly weak rulers can prepare invasions. Fleets can navigate major rivers. Rulers can raid infidel neighbours for loot. Germanic men can take up to three concubines. The Filka is head by, held by a secular ruler and can be destroyed or created normally. <coughs> Inferior at conversion, but not completely rubbish at it. Rulers cannot declare holy wars and women may hold spymaster positions. Oh, I'm so happy about that. And we're still Norse culture as well. Alright, let's take Scandinavia back. Bloody hell, it's not Germanic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten counties remain Germanic. Just ten. However, most of the rulers should be. Let's double check that. Can I see at a glance what religion you are? Viking. Backspace work? No, backspace does not work. B is back. You are... Because I probably need to start removing rulers who are not reformed Norse. But it looks like our entire nobility is. I'm just glancing up here as I go through these. I think I'd have a reason to throw them in jail if they were not. Looking good so far. And yes, I do need to do something about my vassal numbers. Now, when can I get Gavelkind? I think I need to be feudal for Gavelkind, don't I? Wait, have I just gone through the list? More than once, probably. Right, so... Wait, was I literally just... Hang on. Yeah, I was actually just checking the same people. Great! Yep, you are. You are. You are. Nah, uh, I believe you all are. Otherwise I would be able to throw you in jail. You are old Germanic, so you're a heretic. You're the leader of a plot. What plot? Is it against me? Intrigue. Known plots. Kelmar. You want to kill Sif. I don't really care. You're the only one I would want to stop. But we've done it! We're reformed! We can fight back! It's great! So, laws. I need to be... feudal, I believe. How does one change to feudal? Oh, this would allow me to revoke heathen titles. I should definitely do that one. And basically everyone was saying they would support me on that one. Oh. Wait, I would be able to... Oh, I can't do that while I'm doing another vote. Um... Right, it's in here? No, it's not. It's in... Yeah, it is in here. Adopt feudalism. I think this is probably something that we do want to do. Adopting feudalism will convert any tribal holdings into castle. Where this occurs, if the country or if the county is big enough, city and temple holdings will also be created if they do not already exist. Your vassals are likely to follow suit if they are of your religion and culture. They all are. I think we need to, so that we can get Gabblekind. And that's just giving me a bunch more vassals. Yeah, a couple. Alright, so I am now a feudal king. Which I believe means that my vassals will be two. Yeah, pretty much. 
And then to change our yellow, succession laws have indeed changed. So if I wanted to get primogeniture, which would be really hard to get, Holder must be late or imperial feudal. Yeah, I don't have any of those things, but Gavelkind I could get. Holder, one of these must be true. So I only need to reign for at least 10 years, and I'm probably close to that. When did I start reigning? Oh, has that only just started? 27th of July. No, it hasn't. So in two years I can do that. Get in! Two years! Really? Gabblekind. No vassal counter above as a negative opinion of you. There are ways around that. Two years. You need to live for two more years, dude. 54. Considering how old your predecessors were. It shouldn't be that hard. Alright, let's continue raiding over here. We have approved the religious control mandate. Right, and I do need to do this stuff too. I can recruit a court physician. Oh, that's an actual decision now. Huh. And yes, I probably should have one. We do have someone who can. You're 20 learning, we're fine. We can do that. We can have a court jester. Minus 5 opinion. Minus prestige. <laughs> court dwarf. Plus 10 opinion. Has the trait dwarf, okay. Cupbearer, law speaker. Dropmati. The Dropmati serves as a steward of the realm and is a function similar to the Seneschal. It's considered to be a very prestigious position. So these are all the tools that I can use to increase the um, opinion of my vassals. So if I look in here, you'd be easy to do. Like, no one is more than minus two. Yeah, we are so close to being able to do that. That's amazing. We should also start earning more money think. And we have a whole bunch of towns and things that we need to give up as well now. City of Visby, Temple of Slight. Yeah, we're going to have a bunch of these, um, which also means that I can start upgrading those. Oh yeah, the amount of troops I can raise will have gone down, as does tend to happen when you become a feudalism, but my vassals can now provide more troops, and that number will go up quite dramatically, especially once I start building up the temples and uh, towns and stuff like that. So, we do have a bunch of places which are not of the right type, so for these small ones, the baronies, what I tend to do is just create a new vassal and just let them sort themselves out. Unless, of course, they create vassals who don't like me. That doesn't seem to be. Sigjuna. Because these baronies don't tend to affect very much, they have limited power. Oh, you can just make it the county capital. So I could start a republic up if I made one of the uh, towns a capital. It's not a bad idea, I wouldn't mind having some republics. Which I probably should have done just then. Made one of my cool vassals, or one of my cool family members, into a republic, and then, sorry, into the mayor, and then make the republic from there. No matter, I'm sure there will be other opportunities. I was thinking like Sjelland would be a pretty good location for that, but we could do it in Norway possibly here in Finland once we take that territory. Anyway, let's continue raiding. Let's make sure we have a source of income. Thankfully as a uh, feudal Norse culture ruler I can still raid. So we can still make a lot of money this way. we got a whole bunch of free holdings which is amazing. And press a bunch of claims. Oh yeah, I should have some new ambitions. Nope, same one. See the realm prosper. Um, five years without going to war. Yeah, alright.
Raiding doesn't count as war, I think. Just continue going. Converted to Germanic faith. So Upland is done. Excellent. Where's next? Like, we need to do our own territories first. Oh, these are all old Germanic. Oh, I see, so new Germanic is converting quite quickly. Then the old Germanic are these darker ones. Then there's a whole bunch of Catholics. So the old Germanic, I don't mind. It's a heresy, but it's not that bad. Big, not that big a deal. Although I would like my own hometown areas. No, Catholicism is a much bigger threat. We'll convert the Catholic provinces first. Far, far bigger threat. Dutiful cleric. You're an Afon, so I don't really care. And you should be sent home. Get me my money and prestige, which I can then use. Oh, except I can't use prestige anymore, and I can't raise tribal armies either, can I? Why is Narva being attacked? Oh, just raiders. Shut the gates. I see. Ruprecht, no, you're not getting him back. Doesn't look like the Grand Blot is a thing anymore either. <laughs> no more human sacrifice. What a shame. We don't get holy orders yet, but they will become available, like the Yom's Vikings. No, oh, you're not doing anything. Right, because your abilities have changed. Uh, for you, I wish you to improve diplomatic relations in Gotland. You are training troops, research military tech, that's tech spread rate. Mm. Collect taxes, which increases the amount of money I make. But I kind of want the spread of economic tech to go ahead. Now is this spreading to or spreading from? That's one thing I'm not sure about. I want you to discover plots for me. That would be very nice. I mean, collecting taxes is usually not a bad thing. You know what? With the amount of stuff that I need to upgrade, we will collect taxes. Though I thought of Valdemar to be a reasonable man, his request to be allowed to duel his rival was slightly erratic. Valdemar claimed to be constantly subject to the fronts from his rival and asked permission to defend his honour. Is this the one that became the spy master without my permission? It is. Kill yourselves, I don't care. There we go, 400 loot. Excellent. Through the teachings of Voldemar. So, what, well, Voldemar became old Germanic. Unfortunate, but not surprising. Uh, money. I have money. I can invest in stuff. Yay! We get a castle shipyard, which increases the number of galleys. Not hugely important. Better fortification. Hang on. Castle town. That's the main one that we want. Requires castle walls too. So we need castle walls. Oh, Gotland's capital is now Visborg. And Visby. Visby is an amazing city, by the way. If you ever get the chance to go and visit it, it's well worth it. In Gotland. Um, yeah, I think we've just gone a bit of a building spree for castle walls, and then we can get the upgraded castle town. Which would be lovely! Plus, of course, defences are usually a good thing. We'll spend one more, and then at that point we'll save our money in case we need mercenaries for whatever reason. Okay, excellent. Continuing the raiding. Easy money. Easy money. Vassal levels raised too long. Have vassals raised? I don't have vassals raised. Oh, unless it's O, it's the fleet. Oh. Okay. I'll, I'll take the hit. Oh, the seer died. Were you my court physician as well? I have a feeling you were. We don't have very good seers here. I think we're actually going to have to try and bring someone in. Which is on here. And then... Holy Man to Court. Cost piety. Oh, I'm more than happy to spend piety. 
So we have Torbrander, Aspion, Torbjorn, Bercy, Rodolf. You're good. Bit rubbish. Bit rubbish. Hmm. All right. I think we'll need some more because I really want someone who's like 20. Because we need the good. We need a good seer right now because we need conversion. That's why I'm kind of actually spending somewhat heavily on this. One, two, three, four. You are acceptable. Ooh, and you're quick. Yeah, you're very good. Oh yes, fantastic. Nope. Nope. One set more. Nah, 19 will do. So we're going to make the 19 our seer. Congratulations. And we are going to have you converse. Like so. And then, like, because our vassals are also Germanic faith, reformed Germanic faith, their own seers should also be converting, and that's why you want vassals under you, because they convert their own provinces, rather than having to do it all yourself. That's one of the downsides of having a large domain. And yes, I do need a court position. Hoping that one of the guys that I literally just recruited can do it. Yeah, my seer can. Alright, cool. Meanwhile, in England, where the raiding goes on, I was kind of hoping that I would be able to end this episode when I got the 10 year anniversary, but that's going to be another year away, year and a half. So I'm going to stop here. I'm going to try and remember to switch to Gavelkind in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying this series, then please do hit that like button. If you have not done so already, please do consider subscribing as well. If you have any tips or advice for me then please do let me know in the comments below or even if you just want to celebrate the fact that we have finally reformed this is step one of the march of the viking step two novgorod thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you next time goodbye